Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I know the background's a little bit different. I'm currently at my boyfriend's place and I just felt like sitting down and talking to you and I know the setup is far from perfect but as long as you know I'm comfortable and talking to you I thought I should just get this done, right? Done is better than perfect so let's get into it. What I really want to talk to you today, it's about leveraging um, the currency exchange to make more money for your side hustle. As most of you would know, I am from Malaysia and the currency here is quite small. Which means that like, I would say an entry level salary would be about 3,000 or 3.5k ringgit which is equivalent to less than 900 USD. And I know that although our living expenses here is much lower compared to Hong Kong or Singapore or the US, um, I would say that it's still not enough. Especially if you're like me, you don't live at home, you have to pay your rent, your insurance, and if you really want to like, you know, get into the healthy, you know, responsible adult life, you need to pay for gym membership and all that, it's, it's really impossible to save enough to grow and like you know eventually buy a house and all that it's just not enough so that was my situation especially two years ago I had to take a mental health break by the way I'm sorry about the noise behind I'm literally just putting my camera by the window because of the lights so bear with me okay <laughs> anyway so like two years ago I actually had to take a mental health break for up to eight months and there's a hospital close by, which explains the siren. Anyways, back to myself. So two years ago, I actually had to take a mental health break and move back home um, because I wasn't doing well. And during that eight months period, I actually used up all of my savings. It's not wise, I know, but you know, it happened and I can't turn back time to change anything. So that happened and I have to move to the city and like you know start a new job get started with any, everything again and I realized that like you know at this rate without an extra ongoing savings it's impossible for my financial status to keep growing because the money is so little and at last year last year I actually picked up two books because like, you know I want to make a change to my life and I picked up two books that I would say they really changed my life a lot the first book is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and another book is called You Are a Badass in Making Money by Jen Sincero so they both have different kind of teachings in a book but my main key takeaway from their books is that you should aim to make more money instead of thinking how to save more money in fact one of my favorite quote from Robert Kiyosaki in that book it actually says it's more important to grow your income than cut your expenses it's more important to grow your spirit than to cut your dreams and I, I really agree with that it's just I mean you can save and cut but there's only that much that you can save and cut that actually led me to start my side hustles last year while I was still working um, I started off with a drop shipping business which cost me very little to start and I actually made back the money in a really short period of time and I also eventually moved into a freelancing business where I was helping out people with copywriting, web building and social media management. There are many things that you can do for your side hustle. In fact, I actually made a video about the top 10 online businesses that you can start with zero capital. I highly encourage you to check it out if you don't already have a business idea or you don't have much capital and you want to think of something, right? Check that out for sure. Um, but one thing that I learned from my experience in doing site hustle is definitely, if possible, leverage on the currency exchange to help you make more. So let's get into service-based business first. So say you are providing a service in copywriting, translating, uh, social media management, things that are more service-based, I highly encourage you to check out Fiverr or Upwork. Um, websites like that, you are able to actually provide um, business services in USD. 
So the, uh, the name Fiverr actually comes from the idea that you can get people to help you out with this task for as little as $5. So if you're like me uh, and you're from somewhere where currency is just much smaller than USD or the Euro dollars, definitely check that out because you know it's a win-win solution. People there, they get cheap services, whereas us, we get to earn more in USD. In fact, I actually started freelancing on Fiverr years ago, and I actually got my friend into it. I interviewed her in the channel here before, and my girl boss chat with Wendy, and she was actually able to make use of Fiverr to help her support her digital nomad life in the past two to three years. If she were to use a service in Malaysian Ringgit to do freelancing, I don't think she would have been able to support her lifestyle with traveling all this while because the currency is just too small. Basically, with the same amount of work that you'll be pouring into, you'll be making three times, four times, five times more than the usual rate that you would be making locally. So I highly recommend you checking it out, okay? And if you are thinking of selling more so products than services, um, it's definitely harder but it's not impossible. You can definitely find ways for people to do your fulfillment and shipping from overseas. And you know, the best thing about us living in this digital age is that we can make use of websites, social media, Facebook ads, Google ads to target people who are not from local. As long as you know the culture, you know the language, it's possible. Um, one popular idea that I know a lot of Asians has been utilizing to make money from overseas is through drop shipping. So the idea of drop shipping is that you would source for a supplier or a manufacturer and you would create a website or a social media shop where you post all the products, the pictures of the products and all that and you target to the people in a specific country. Once someone places an order on your website or your shop, you would then place an order with the supplier or manufacturer to ship directly to the customer. So basically your customers will be paying upfront for, this, for the, the cost of the product before you actually place an order. So that actually saves the problem of not having the capital to buy you know, the things upfront and also not having the space to store your, store your things upfront. And the best part, you can target someone who is not from your country. Um, one very popular method to do drop shipping is through ordering things on AliExpress. There is actually this plugin from Shopify that allows you to export things from AliExpress into your Shopify store. And once someone places an order on your Shopify store, Obelor actually automatically fulfills the order on AliExpress. Um, everything's like, you know, auto-filled on the the form on AliExpress and you can ship it to your customer right away. It is definitely really, really convenient to do so. Um, but based on my experience from doing drop shipping, right, I would highly recommend you to do something that is really, really niche. For example, like, I don't know, everything to do with Harry Potter or everything to do with Dragon Ball, like really specific niche. Um, so that it is easier for you to target with ads on social media. And also definitely think of something with a higher profit margin just to justify the amount that you'll be spending on advertisement. Alright, so these are like my tips on leveraging currency exchange for services and product space. Um, and this is like, you know, I would say it's ideal for those of you who are living in Malaysia, Cambodia, like Vietnam where your currency is just smaller just like where I'm at and besides making more money through services and products you are actually also able to reduce your cost by outsourcing your services to someone whose currency is even smaller than yours I actually recently came to know about a digital marketer who's been outsourcing all the social media management and content creation stuff to people in Pakistan. I always thought that outsourcing is something where developed nation people would use in developing countries where, like where we are at, but I didn't know that 
it's actually still possible to outsource at a lower rate from a developing country to another developing country. So I personally haven't checked that out and I don't have much experience in that, but you know, I, I heard about it and I'm like, okay, there's actually a possibility for it. So I guess like what I'm trying to say here is that it is possible to make more money if you are willing to put the hard work in it and also be smart with it like leveraging currency exchange. I don't think there's ever a dead end when it comes to making more money. It's just how you want to utilize the resources that you have. For example, by googling different methods to you know, outsource services from a lower developing nation or to sell your services to a developed country, it's all up to you and it's all you know, we are very lucky that we are at this age where Google has been giving us free available information everywhere. So definitely utilize it. It is up to you to make more money. And since last year, I think I've made double the amount of the money that I made from before. Um, although a lot of them went back into paying debt and stuff like that, but I'm really glad to see how financially I was able to grow. And I hope that these tips are able to help you in a way or two. Again, I apologize for the noise and this random setup, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. And be sure to check out this two video for more business and girl boss tips. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!